The Derby's a lot of fun. It's one of those dreamer events during the course of the year where mm -hmm. if you're a gambler in any way, you can make money uh, betting on this thing. And so it's a lot of fun, but it's very difficult. 20 horses typically, a big field. Everybody who thinks they have a chance might have a chance. There's this old saying in horse racing, um, if you want to become a millionaire, start as a billionaire and start buying racehorses. <laughs> I like I mean, that. That's typically, it's a very expensive <laughs> hobby, but it's the one thing in, in our country where you can own a champion franchise as a normal guy. And so right. those dreamers out there, their dream starts here this Saturday. Gotcha. All right, well, what's a good launching point, Teddy, in, in terms of, of a gambling angle for a lot of people who may be betting for the first time? Well, you know me, I'm gonna focus on the odds. Uh, and there's a huge difference between paramutual odds, what we see for horse racing, and sports betting odds, what we normally talk about. Horse racing takes their money off the top. They can never lose. It's a fixed percentage for their hold. Whereas books, they can lose money in any given day on sports betting, but they will make more money when the Joes or the pros end up losing. So horse racing takes the money off the top, sports betting doesn't. Sports betting odds can change. Whereas, you know, you can, you can see one person at minus two and a half and one person at minus three and another guy at plus three and a half, depending on where they bet and what line they got. Horse racing, the odds aren't finalized until the wagering ends and the race begins. So everybody gets paid the same amount regardless of when you huh. made your wager. Yeah, so you Didn't walk up that. to the window and it's 30 to one, but if it goes off at 12 to one, you're getting 12 to one versus the 31. The track is the only one that determines those odds. That's interesting, I did not know that. Oh, well, you learn something new every day, right? Good job, Jack. <laughs> What's another, uh, th you know, people gambling on, on this for the first time, something they may not know? Yeah, well, the, how hard it is, how difficult this race is. This is a lot like betting on 13-year-old people, men or kids that, you know, all have real fast athletic parents. Uh -huh. and, but, you know, you have that kid who go away for the summer and he comes back, he's grown four inches, he now can jump through the gym <laughs> before he looked like a giraffe on legs. I mean, right, it's kind right. of that way with horse racing because when you're talking about three years old, they are not the fastest horses out there. Uh, the classic winner last year was a full two seconds faster than what the Derby winner was. So you, you they grow and mature mm -hmm. with each every, in every race. And there's different philosophies on how to approach that. Uh, you'll have uh, trainers that say, you know what, we're gonna race a lot early and then uh, rest them right before. There's other horses going this year that they are racing a lot right before. You have to earn points to get in this race, so a lot of different ways to get in the race, but very difficult to predict the winner. 